Greetings, dear traders. The stock market is currently rather volatile. Some positive events are usually followed by negative ones. Last week, retail traders got rid massively of risk on stocks, with the main US stock indexes falling by more than 4%. Concerns about rising inflation have not gone away. Record high inflation is eating out the US companies' profits. Investors are also worried that aggressive monetary policy tightening may trigger recession. Now stocks keep declining. Investors are de desperately trying to figure out the bottom levels or at least get any signals when the bearish trend may end. Despite the sharpest drop of 30% at the beginning of the year, the stock market is unlikely to hit the bottom in the near future. Its formation may take more time now than in the last 10 years, and the Fed sticks to a hawkish stance, which is bearish for stocks. Therefore, investors will have to rely on their own strengths, which means that the recovery will become more challenging and protracted. Let's discuss how deep the main stock indexes may fall next week. Jerome Powell's speech was in the limelight last week. The Fed chair announced that the regulator would raise key rates more aggressively, if necessary in order to achieve a more noticeable drop in inflation. He confirmed the 50 basis point rate increase at the next two FOMC meetings. Powell also stressed that the central bank did not actively consider a 75 basis point rate hike. The Fed is poised to use all tools in the fight against inflation, even if it leads to an increase in unemployment. Investors fear that such steps will only worsen economic conditions and create risks of a recession. The negative earnings reports of the largest U.S. retailers have only heightened concerns about the slowdown in the U.S. economic expansion. Soaring prices, sluggish sales and supply chain disruptions have adversely affected the retailers' profits. Target's first quarter profit halved. After that, investors wiped almost 25% off target shares. Other companies faced similar difficulties. Unexpected sale off of Walmart and the Cisco shares, as well as a fall in stocks of market flagships like Apple and Alphabet by more than 25%, signaled drastic changes. Judging by the round two digital digit numbers of the stock indexes and the new lows, the stock market is now gripped by bearish sentiment. A steep decline in the two shares of the largest retail chains negatively influenced the stock market sentiment in the middle of last week. The Dow Jones and the S&P 500 indexes looked the largest drop since June 2020, and the Dow's lead by 3.5%, the heavy tech Nasdaq closed 4.7%, and the S&P 500 index slipped by 4%. The Dow is now the mm, least vulnerable index. Uh, it decreased only by 15% from the highs of the start of the year, while the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq plummeted by 20 and 30% respectively. As for the weekly results, its losses equaled uh, those of the week's close. The Dow sank by 2.9%, which was slightly less compared to other stock indexes. The Dow tried to bounce off the psychologically important levels uh, from time to time. However, it did not change the main downtrend. On May 23, there was a moderate increase in a risk appetite on Wall Street. Investors turned their back on a safe haven assets after Joe Biden said he would review tariffs on uh, China's imports. The People's Bank of China cut the interest rate yesterday to boost the slowing economy and increase investor confidence. U.S. stocks climbed amid such news. However, this rise is likely to be short-lived. Last week, the S&P 500 index shed 3%. It managed to recap some of its losses 
thanks to its rebound on Monday, yet its downward movement remained unchanged. As a result, it maintained a seven-week losing streak like other stock indexes. Last week, the index reached a low of 3,830. Its decline was deeper than a week ago, and the S&P 500 was trading just above the bearish territory. The quotes managed to bounce back. According to stats, the index was in the bearish territory for only a few hours on Friday, May 20. As for the index prospects, the S&P 500 has already fallen to the nearest support level of 3,900 points. The downtrend persists as the bears remain strong. The index is highly unlikely to rebound from 4,000. However, it may attempt to return to the 4,060 and 4,100 points range, which acts as a strong resistance zone. A further decline looks more possible. The index is projected to test the support level around 3,855 points and below. If this scenario comes true, it's sure to tumble even lower. The target level will be 3,700 points, yet analysts believe that the index will eventually approach 3,500. Let's move on to the next key stock index. The heavy tech Nasdaq lost 3.8% in a week, like other stock indexes. It managed to climb higher on Monday 23. It's too early to talk about any positive shifts and stable trends. The outlook remains negative, and this is why investors are now opening short positions, betting on a further drop. The Nasdaq has been in a bearish territory since April 22. Last week, like the S&P 500, it reached a new intraday low of 11,115. Inflation and the Fed's hawkish stance remain two main factors that impact the stock market sentiment. And for this reason, traders are waiting with a baited breath for the FOMC meeting minutes. They want to learn the details regarding a 50 basis point interest rate hike and the reduction of the Fed's balance sheet. On Thursday, used GDP data for the first quarter is due. And we keep close tab on the latest market events and share them with you. Subscribe to our channel and leave your comments down below. We work for you, making video reviews every day and every week. That's all for now. See you soon.